It's Monday, February 6th, 2012, and here is New York. Before I begin today, I just wanted to note how everyone is kind of like, Yeah, go Giants! Woo! Jets fan, I'm just like, meh. Okay. The Rangers won yesterday. That's good news. Anyway, I wanted to do a bit of an app review. There are several New York City-based uh, applications for the iOS mobile operating system, Bob. Um, and I just wanted to review a few of them for you. One honest-to-goodness lifesaver of an app is called Next Stop. Not only does it include a fun map of the New York City transit system, I, I this, this did not turn out well when it came to the lighting. You can't see a damn thing. Well, now you can, if I hold it this way. But also, what's really cool about it is you can choose any line of the city, any stop in the transit system, and it'll give you a nice countdown timer for the up, for the upcoming train. It takes the data from, simply from the paper uh, timetables, so it's sometimes a little off, it's not in real time, but generally speaking, it's accurate, so it's certainly one of my favorite apps. Another great app is MetroCost. I use this to count the times I use a MetroCard swipe, and I'm able to calculate whether I should get an unlimited metro card or just continue using the paper ride. Currently, I'm at 0.9 rides per day, uh, even though I've had two rides today, so that's, that's pretty damn good. Another app uh, I love is DNA Info. There are several New York news apps, uh, New York Times being the one with the most spectacle of them. I used to go with that app, but once it went into newsstand and became out of place, I sort of basically deleted it from my iPod. This, however, is great for local news. It's customi customizable by neighborhood, particularly good if you live in Manhattan. One of my favorite radio stations in New York City, WQXR, has their own app, which you can use for their classical scream, their Q2 alternate classical music with all living composers. Just of all the programs you can listen to on demand, plus an alarm clock, which is nice. Several New York City museums have applications for the iPod and iPhone. MoMA is, in my opinion, the top on the list. It has their own audio tours, the catalog of the collections, info on how to use MoMA in the best possible way, and best of all, a calendar you can look at what's going on that specific day. For example, See that there's a Diego Rivera exhibit going on right now. Which I already knew, but that's, that's the point. Finally, the New York Public Library is doing a whole bunch of great stuff uh, with both.